Question number 37. Each of these resistors has a resistance of 4 ohms. If we attach a battery which has a potential difference across it of 12 volts, which of these resistor combinations will dissipate 24 watts, 24 joules of energy every second? So we need to start by figuring out the equivalent resistance that will cause a dissipation of 24 joules per second. We have three different equations for electric power. One is power equals current squared times resistance. Another one is current times electric potential difference. And the last one is electric potential difference squared divided by the resistance. We could use any one of these, but the easiest one I see is the electric potential difference divided by the resistance because we have the power and the electric potential difference. So we're going to solve that equation for the resistance to figure out the equivalent resistance of the system. When you solve for the resistance, you get that the resistance equals the electric potential difference squared divided by the power. More specifically, when you're talking about the equivalent resistance, that's going to be the potential difference across the battery divided by the total power dissipated by the battery, or 12 squared divided by 24, or 144 divided by 24, or 6 ohms. So the equivalent resistance of our uh, circuit here needs to be 6 ohms. And so what we need to do now is figure out which one of these gives us an equivalent resistance of 6 ohms. Billy, please give me the equations for adding resistors in series and adding resistors in parallel. Uh, resistors in series add, and resistors in parallel, oh, it's something having to do with inverses. The equivalent resistance for resistors in parallel is the inverse of the sum of the inverse of the resistances. Yeah, that's right. Correct. The resistors in series, the equivalent resistance just adds. As you add a resistor, you simply add, you sum the resistances. However, for resistors in parallel, the equivalent resistance is the inverse of the sum of the inverses of the resistances. Which means when you add resistors in series, that resistance goes up, and when you add resistors in parallel, that equivalent resistance actually goes down. Which means, when you look at this, for answer A, the equivalent resistance is 4 plus 4, or 8 ohms, which is not 6. And the resistance for D is 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 12 ohms, which is also not 6. And for both B and C, because when you add resistance in par resistors in parallel, it decreases the resistance. Therefore, both resistances B and C must be less than 4 ohms. Therefore, the correct answer must be E. I'm going to walk through the math specifically, but we should know at this point that the correct answer is E. The equivalent resistance for E. These two resistors are in parallel, and then these two resistors are then in series with this resistor. So we have the equation for the two resistors in parallel, and then they, these two are then in series with this resistor. And now we can plug in 4 ohms and figure out the equivalent resistance. Substituting in 4 ohms for all of our resistances, we end up with 4 plus the quantity 1 fourth plus 1 fourth to the negative 1 power. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 1 half raised to the negative 1 power gives us 2. 4 plus 2 is 6 ohms. The correct answer is E because it gives us an equivalent resistance of 6 ohms, which is what we need in order to dissipate 24 joules per second using 12 volts.